I would say get another sheet of paper if you need to fix a lot of things or fix it off to the side or on the back. That way you don't make the same mistakes on the test. And then any questions you have, make sure you ask. For the first one, this should have been no solution. No work needed to be shown. Some of you may have put infinitely many, which would only work if they were overlapping. So it should have been no solution. Questions on that one. That was basically right or wrong. For the second one, you needed to solve both of these equations if in both in slope and intercept form. Subtract 2x for one, subtract 6x for the other. And then divide, this should have been by negative 1. So that y equals 2x plus 3. And then divide this one by 2. So that y equals negative 3x minus 2. Some of us forgot to bring down the negative, so that changed that whole equation. Some of us didn't simplify here, so our graphing was off. So make sure you're, you are simplifying, bringing down your negatives. And then graph both. So this first one would have started at positive 3, had a positive slope up 2 to the right one, as many times as possible, and down 2 to the left one, as many times as possible. The other one would have started at negative 2, had a negative slope going up 3 to the left one, as many times as possible. And then you should have looked to see where do those two lines cross, which would have been at negative 1, 1. So the five points on that one were, did you get the two equations correct, solving them and the equation simplified? Did you graph the two equations correctly with arrows, drawing all your points, and then your solution point? Hold on. You told me to simplify like the equations, but I wrote exactly the same way. You wrote this, and you simplified? I'm sorry, and you didn't simplify? No, I simplified, like, I wrote exactly what's on the board, but you told me to simplify. I'll look at it in a second. Okay, other questions? Alright, for substitution and elimination, you could have substituted and eliminated a bunch of different ways. So what I do may not be what you did, and that's okay. You don't need to change, erase anything. For substitution, there were different ways to do this. You could have most of us solved for x over y in this one, but you also could have solved for x or y in this equation because you were past whole numbers. So it didn't matter. Um, I'm going to solve for y in this one. Again, if this is not what you did, don't erase, don't change it. If you want this method, you can write it down. It did not matter whether you put this in slope and intercept form or not. And then substitute that into the other one. And then this is where a lot of us went wrong. So at this point, some of us, when we distributed, made this minus 2x, which canceled this out, but this should have been a plus. This should not have been no solution. You should have been able to combine the terms and solve to get an actual solution. Add 24 to both sides. 
so that x was 2.5 or 5 halves. It did not matter which one you used, fraction or decimal. Um, remember that you can double check your own work. You have a calculator. You can put, after you get your answer, you can put them back into the original and see do they work or not. Um, many of you asked me, are these supposed to be decimals? And I said it could be, it could not be, because you have the power to check them. So make sure you are checking your work. And then if you put that back in, the easiest equation to put it back in to would be this one. So y equals 12 minus 2.5, which would be 9.5 or 19 halves. So that should have been the ordered pair for that. Also, these two should have had the same exact answer because this is the same problem. You shouldn't get two different answers for the same problem. Questions on substitution, I'm sorry, points. So the points there, there were five. One for solving, setting up your uh, substitution, however you set that up correctly. One for solving for x correctly and getting the correct x value and then setting solving for y correctly and getting the correct y value. Do you have any questions on substitution before we do elimination? And then again elimination you had a couple different ways to solve this. Um, some of us multiply this second equation by 2. Some of us multiply this by 4 and the second one, or the first one by 2. It didn't matter. You have choices. The easiest would probably be to multiply this by 2. Um, some of the issue that I saw here was when we brought down this one, we changed this to a negative so that when we added or subtracted them, both canceled, and that should not have happened. So this would be negative 2 minus 2y, which is negative 4y. And then negative 14 minus 24, negative 38. And then you can put that back into any of your uh, equations, the either two original or the one that you changed. So if I use this one, x plus 9.5 equals 12, and got rid of 9.5, x would equal 2.5. So then again, the five points on that one were setting up your elimination correctly, solving for x correctly, getting the correct x value, solving for y correctly, and getting the correct y value for a total of 10 points. Questions on that one. So always double check your answer, put it back into the original, see if you put them back in, do you get these numbers? Make sure you do it for both. In your work problem, most of the, some of the important things were already bolded. The 15 student tickets, the 16 student tickets, the 10 adult tickets, the 14 adult tickets, and then there were totals of 300 and 375. The question, what is the price? When you define your variable, it should be about price. It also says price here, so it shouldn't have been number of. You could have labeled your two variables whatever you wanted. I'm going to use A and S. If you didn't use A and S, that's okay. Um, and then your definition should have had something to do with price of, cost of, adult ticket price, something with those words in it. So if you didn't have that in it, you lost points. Each were worth one point a piece. You had six numbers, so you should have been using all six. And those two equations would have been 15s plus 10s plus 
110A equals 300, and 16X plus 14A equals 377. Setting those both up correctly were both worth one point. Then you had choices of how to solve your system. How you did that was up to you. Um, some of you chose to solve by substitution. When your equations are set up like this, I wouldn't advise using substitution. You can use it, but remember that you might get fractions, decimals. And it also depends on what you're solving by or for. So if you solve by substitution and you solve for A, when you divided everything, you got nice decimals. Or in this one, if you solve for S, you got nice-ish decimals. They didn't repeat, but they stopped. But if you solve for this S or this A, you got repeating decimals, so you would have had to leave them as fractions. So be mindful of that. But I would have used elimination. And then, of course, there are different ways to do that. You could use 15 and 16. You could use 10 and 14. There was another one. I think it was 5 and 7. So I'm going to use that one because that will probably give us the smallest amount of numbers. So if I multiply the first one by 7 and the second one by 5, we get 105S plus 70A. 2100 and 80s plus 70a equals 18 and then I could eliminate my a's of course this is not how you needed to do it it's just one way so I could subtract get 25s and I think it's 25. 25. And then divide both sides by 25. To get 9. So then your price should have been $9. If you just put 9, you were missing your labels. And then use that number to go back and find A or your other variable. Uh, some of you used the first equation, some of you used the second. It didn't, some of you used these ones, but it didn't matter. I'm going to use the very first one. solving piece, the points there were, did you set up your substitution or elimination correctly, solve for one of the variables and solve for the other variable, and then the last two points for your final answers. Questions on any of the word problems? Okay, let's see. Do you have any general questions before you go to the LS? You guys are going to start with the no calculator section, the graphing. You're going to put your calculators behind your phone. 